Hello, everybody, and welcome back to round three of Victoria 2 A to Z, the cursed game mode where I play all of the interesting nations from A to Z in Victoria 2. Now, last episode, we had a fun time in the Argentine Confederation, but this time we're going to have a significantly less fun time in Austria. Austria is an interesting nation to play in Victoria 2 because one of the main pros of playing a map game is being able to conquer more land. As Austria, you simulate losing land consistently. So, it's not all that much fun. I would say that it's my least favorite country in uh, Eastern Europe, but I put Serbia and Krakow on the list of countries that I have to play in Eastern Europe. So it's, it's not that bad, I'll take it. Now, if you take a look at our borders, you'll see that we look like a semi-united nation. However, when you take a look at our cultures, you'll see we have like 60 cultures. This is not gonna be fun. We don't even have cores on half of this territory. It's only Hungary. That's horrifying. This nation is terrible. I've made an alliance with the Spanish, and I'm not really sure what that's good for, because the Spanish are just bad. But <laughs> I guess your 33 military score will help me out if I go to war with anybody. Oh man, this is a sad day. My boy Franz has died. This is so sad. The Germans and Russians are at it already. <laughs> this isn't supposed to happen for a couple years yet, but at least I'm not involved. And here it comes, the age of liberalism. Things are about to get very, very bloody very quickly. Just notice that the French are also invading the Germans. They might lose this. Nothing like funding the Austrian railroads. Love internal improvements. Luckily, my militancy is going up, which means I can pass peonage because serfdom is like the worst possible thing that you can do to a country. Polish insurrection. This is about the little bit of Krakow. But I'm going to go negotiate with the other major powers and hope that they let me annex this little tiny piece of territory. And would you look at that. Goodbye, Krakow. You've been a real one. I feel like Serbia will definitely be a problem in my future. So we're just going to deal with them now and not deal with them later. And here it is. The cursed Hungarian Revolution of 1847. Basically... Hungary is a bit cringe and decides to rebel against you and you have to take matters into your own hands because they are scary. People want the right to vote and uh, who am I to complain about that? Liberal Austria, here we come. All right, so the rebellion within my own country has ended now. It's just the Hungarian part that I still have to deal with. That's pretty good, that'll lower my militancy. So the war finally ended. I defeated Hungary and now we are one nation, albeit still a shattered nation because look at all the cores on these provinces. So the North Germans have created the North German Confederation and I think I'm just gonna, uh, yeah. The North German Empire has been created. The North German Confederation has been created and that means that I'm probably going to have to give up Bavaria and all these southern states too, so I'm just going to let it go, honestly. Wait, now the Germans are demanding this little strip of the Netherlands? I'll ally the Netherlands against the Germans, and hopefully the Germans will back down. In the meantime, I'm going to click the Austro-Hungarian comprom Compromise button because that gives me this cool brown color. And finally, cores. Austria-Hungary will not be as weak as the Austrians were. As such, we need colonies, and no better place to start than Nigeria. Looks like the Russians are gonna suppress the Polish uprising here. That's disappointing. I always like to see the Polish do well. Italian pan-nationalists are rising up in this random state in Italy, so that means that I have to go take them out, otherwise, the Italian state will form and kill everything. So the French have joined up with the Italians and declared war on me because the Italians want to be silly nationalists. However, I have Spain and some other allies, so hopefully this will go well. I just killed 100,000 Savoyans at this battle. That's crazy. 
the French, I feel, have brutally miscalculated my strength in this war, as we have run over Savoy, and they are now offering to humiliate them for peace. And yeah, I will definitely do that. <laughs> Sorry, France, but you just weren't up to fight with the Austrians today. Bavaria has achieved great power status, which is interesting because the Germans are currently at war with the French trying to form Germany, so I wonder if they're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure. Germany got their land, but I don't know if they can form actual Germany because they don't have Bavaria. I'm very interested to see what happens here. Don't really know much about Dahomey, but uh, I would think that they would make a good colony, so I'm going to conquer them. Officially recognizing the CSA seems like a very Austrian thing to do, so uh, I'm going to click the button. In a sad turn of events, Italy has formed, which is really sad for Austria-Hungary because they get cores in your territory and they're going to keep attacking you over and over and over again until they get them back. Italy honestly stinks right now, so we're going to try and take a state from them because why not? Ah, uh, Italy, you should not have united. This would not have happened if you hadn't united. Bavaria is calling me into war against the Germans. I can't help you there, mate. Oh, I probably should have stood with the Bavarians, because now the Germans are coming after me for some reason. Germany, why? Germany wants to cut me down to size? I guess I'm going to have to click the button, because I don't think I can beat the Germans, because they have the UK on their side. The Germans are so bad, I can't believe they would do that to me. I hate you, Germany. I don't have much of an army because of the German choice to cut me down, but I am going to call a congress with uh, the Ottoman Empire because I feel like it could give me prestige. I'm going to select the Stability in the Balkans button because it gets me the best opportunity to take stuff. So, yeah. And I am going to claim Bosnia because why not? Mmm, that'll be some tasty territory. And now we're going to make our demands against the Ottomans and hope for the best. And they have defied the Congress. Well, I waited out my uh, demobilized period, and that means that I can start rebuilding my mighty army. This time the Germans are going to pay for their actions. I feel like the Austrians have a better claim to Bosnia than the Ottomans, so I'm just going to quietly take the territory. I've killed quite a few Ottomans now, so they're willing to give me Bosnia. Thank you very much for helping me make my borders beautiful. Now, it is 1880, so I should be able to start the scramble for Africa here. I think I want all of Nigeria and also maybe, maybe Somalia if I can get my hands on it. We'll see how this goes. So, I've kind of carved out a sizable place for me in Africa, in addition to Somalia, which I now control as well. So, I think I'm in a good position. I'm going to try and snag Ethiopia, assuming the Dutch don't do it for me. We have founded Austro-Hungarian Egypt, which is especially cursed because the British own the Suez. I'll have to take that off them soon. Germany has formed into one state, and that scares me tremendously. The Germans would like to ally me now, and considering the Germans are either the number one, nope, they're the number two great power in the world, I think that's better than my current GP ally of the United States. Germany and I are really going places. The first nation Germany and I are going to tag team is Italy, because I hate that Italy is communist. How dare there be a communist nation in 1891? My infamy only allows me to get one state off of them, but oh well. It's one more state towards Austrian domination of the Italian peninsula. The Germans ditched me, and I allied the French. But the French socialists are eating the French alive. Why are all my allies terrible? Man, don't the Japanese and the Russians look like they're having a great time over there? Huh. <laughs> The British have decided that through a crisis, they're willing to go to war with France, Germany, and Spain to liberate Basque County in northern Spain. 
Britain is actually crazy and is now going to either get destroyed or invade the entirety of Europe. Nobody else had taken Ethiopia, so I decided to take it for myself. Very cool. I'm not gonna lie, Austria-Hungary is not the most interesting nation because the gameplay just uh, consists of waiting to become stronger than the Germans. You can take these provinces off them that have the same culture as you. The UK released Canada and now they're a great power. That's uh, unique. I, I haven't seen that yet in the A to Z series. Oh boy, Russia, you've, you've certainly taken a turn this game, haven't you, um, um, Russia? Soviet propaganda is being spread across my border with the Soviet Union? How dare you, you little turd? There will be consequences for this. I'm gonna declare war on them. Scientists in our country have discovered gas attack. The Soviets are about to get a real lesson in what it means to fight war in the 20th century. Goodbye, Soviet Union. I'm also going to call my Japanese ally because I'm pretty sure they'll take any opportunity possible to go after the Soviet. And the Soviet Union have agreed to be humiliated. <laughs> Sorry, Soviet Union. You can't be communist and have a border with me. I'll be back to kill you. We've invented both gas attack and defense, so we should be able to fight any war we want now. I'm excited for that, but I don't really think I can take the Germans right now, so probably won't get me anywhere. How is Turkey? through not being a great power for years and years, managed to retain Cyprus and uh, Crete. Like seriously, you'd think they would have gotten clobbered by now. Soviet fascists have enforced their demands in the Soviet Union. Um, I'm not gonna click on their country because I'm afraid there's gonna be something that'll get me demonetized. Uh, yep. We were first to the South Pole and that gives us 122 prestige. I swear, these exploration events give way too much prestige for what they are. It's just like money for prestige. I'm gonna give women the right to vote because always a good idea. Bosnian independence? Are they joking with me? Seriously, we're never gonna give the Bosnians independence. The Germans are currently the number one great power and unless I do something quickly, they're going to conquer the world. So. I'm gonna declare war on them with the assistance of the British and I'm gonna take some states so maybe they stop expanding so quickly. I have a lot of allies that I'm using to take them out. I have the UK, the Japanese, the United States, and of course myself. And we're gonna win, hopefully. The Germans will probably mobilize, so I should also mobilize to combat that. And we shredded the German army so hard right away that they are willing to give me Upper Bavaria, and I will take it. Thank you very much, Germany. Aren't those some sweet borders? The Germans are still beating me in the great power list, unfortunately. So that means that I'll have to find a way to declare war on them again. We'll see. Hopefully a crisis starts soon. <laughs> the Germans and I just went to war, and now they're offering me an alliance? No thank you, Germany. I don't want to ally you, you jerk. Turkey, what happened? <laughs> Why are you letting everybody go, Turkey? The Germans and the Belgians have invaded the French and they've forced the French to dismantle their empire and they've given Italy Savoy back. This is so disgusting. It's not even funny. Oh my gosh, look at Africa now. There's so many independent nations because France lost everything. The dismantling of the French is like totally uncalled for by the Germans. So I sided with the British in this crisis over the liberation of Bulgaria. Hopefully they peace out, but I am prepared to go to war with the Germans if necessary. The crisis has gone to another war, which means that I'm gonna have to invade the Germans again. I'm not complaining, I like invading the Germans, but really, we, we couldn't diplomatically solve this? This time, I'm unfortunately at war with whatever remains of the Ottoman Empire as well, so this will be a harder war. 
There seems to be a common theme with these anti-German wars. I'm the only one who does anything, except this time I'm pleased to see that the Swedes have decided to join in the battle. Thank you, Sweden. You're a real one, you know that? So the British just peaced out with the Germans, which is really good, because that means I don't have to fight these cursed people anymore. Hopefully, the Germans will pay for their actions. I'm not really sure what we gain from that war. I'm very disappointed, actually. I thought I would get some land. Don't look now, but Turkey has six score. Zero prestige, zero industry, and six military. Love you, Turkey. You're doing a great this game. How have they not lost the Balkans? How is Germany still number one great power when they've lost to me twice? I don't understand at all. The current state of my country is interesting because I don't have enough iron production to continue expanding my industry, so my industry score is stalling. Luckily, there's a province that has the most iron production basically in the entirety of Europe, right on top of my country, and uh, it just takes one simple war with Germany to get that province. Hopefully this time my victory drops the Germans more than one great power place and they won't be able to get back to number one. The Germans are still number one great power. I'm buying so much iron for my industry right now that it, iron is worth more than steel. This is actually economy breaking. Remember when Germany randomly declared war on me to cut me down to size and I couldn't have an army for years? Yeah, that gives me a good idea. I'm gonna do the same thing to Germany and see how they like it. Curse you, Germany. The French have gotten in on this anti-German war and they've invaded Belgium and Germany, so hopefully this will be the end of the strong German Empire. All right, I've totally defeated the Germans. Hopefully they will never rise up again because I'm cutting them down to size with hopes that other people will take land and I'm gonna acquire another state with South German uh, culture so I can become larger. And because they were cut down to size, they're gonna start breaking up into little pieces. I'm gonna start taking some colonies and stuff off of them. Like I just got Togo, which is really, really good. This is gonna be a very, very strong Austria-Hungary after this cursed war. Argentina, how did Bolivia get this state? That's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life, Bolivia. Oh, wow. Germany is going to drop from GP. This is might be the happiest day of my entire life. I'm so excited. This dark German color means that they've gone a different direction. They've gone the uh, demonetization direction, if you know what I mean. Uh, I guess we beat them up too hard. And I beat the Russians at some key battles, so now I should be able to peace out with them. Yes, I can peace out with them, and that's the end of the war. And coincidentally, that's also where I'm going to call this video, because not much is going to happen in the next five years of gameplay. Uh, we did get third great power uh, behind, of course, America, who's number two, and presumably Britain, who's number one. But we did manage to knock down Germany from their high peg. Uh, we created a disgusting monster with two, th three, three decent colonies. And yeah, it was a, not a lot of fun. This country really, really stinks. Uh, the part that I cut out mostly was um, just a bunch of rebels running around all of the time. Probably killed many millions and millions of rebels in this video. So Austria-Hungary, not a lot of fun. Definitely my least favorite of the three countries I've played so far. But yeah, I'll see you next time for I think Bavaria is next. That'll be a lot of fun. I'll see you then.